Hey, so I've been looking forward to coming to Massachusetts for a long time. So obviously Hood is a big regional player in Massachusetts. I believe that Hood is based in Linfield, Mass. I'll hit the buzzer if that's not right. And Hood's good stuff. I've definitely enjoyed some Hood chocolate milk before. I'm more interested on this trip to highlight the local dairies. I'm pretty sure I haven't found all of them because not everyone's got a web presence or is super easy to find, but I'm gonna do my best and try to find what I consider to be the best chocolate milk in Massachusetts. Cooper's Hilltop Farm in Rochdale, not too far outside of Worcester. Beautiful plot of land they got out here. It is windy, so I've got the microphone on. Hopefully that doesn't impact the audio too badly. Mm. It's got a gorgeous texture, thin but creamy, and it disperses evenly. Beautiful in that regard. It is lacking a little bit of salt and some sweetness too. I mean, I think salt would be, would help to accentuate the other flavors. The flavor that it does has washes away pretty quickly and doesn't linger, which is a nice feature, but it's not powerfully flavorful like, uh, like the Shaw Farm Dairy or the Paleos that I've had. Um, it is still an enjoyable treat. You can drink this pretty quickly. They got plenty of other things for sale in the little store up there. And it looks like it be a beautiful place to visit and spend an afternoon here in Rochdale, Massachusetts. Number 10. Built in Massachusetts at the Fruit Center, in the parking lot of the Fruit Center, because they carry Thatcher Farm chocolate milk. Now, Thatcher Farm is in Milton, uh, but it's Friday and they close at one o'clock on Friday and I couldn't quite make it here. I had to go all the way through Boston from Salem. So I just kind of missed out on that. And I think they do maybe have sell a little bit of it in the office there. They're available at a number of stores, one of which being here. It comes in plastic and glass. The glass bottle was funny. It had a 2010 Seasons Greetings bottle. I know they reuse the bottles, but that's, that's kind of interesting. It's 2019 uh, and it's in the middle of June but nonetheless, I appreciate the reusing of it. So, so how does this taste? Yeah, it's really good. It's, uh, man, I've, all the chocolate milk I've had so far has been really good. This does remind me of Tully Farms Dairy a little bit, where it's, it's thicker and it's a, a medium cocoa flavor that, again, the cream disperses beautifully well. I take issue with the nutrition facts on the back. I'm not sure that it's 130 calories per cup. That seems a little bit low for a full fat, whole chocolate milk. It tastes great. A little bit of a salty snap at the end that cleans everything up and makes you want more. This is brilliant stuff from Thatcher Farm. Really enjoy drinking this. And it's gonna be hard to choose a winner in Massachusetts for what I consider to be the best chocolate milk. I'm gonna have to have all these side by side when I do the reviews and maybe try to find some more nuances, but just on the spot having this, this is delicious. It doesn't have that extra little something that immediately you know like it like the rogers farmstead i had in vermont where oh you know one sip into it i'm like this is this is transcendent so again it's outstanding um, but it's not taking any sort of chances thickly settled that's i don't know i don't think it means densely populated because it's definitely not densely populated here thickly settled that's not something i've seen in other states it's pretty funny what sort of non Number nine. Wait a minute, Hornstra Farms in Norwell, Massachusetts. It's an amazingly beautiful complex. The buildings and, a, and a, the barn are like cedar shingled and that quintessentially New England style. There's a, a mile long line for ice cream, but it was pretty quiet inside the dairy store and they had lots of chocolate milk. Got one and uh, got some in glass, but also in a nice little pint here too, or I'm sorry, a half pint. The chocolate milk is definitely delicious and it's full of fat. It's got a little bit of heft to it, but also I'd say it's a little bit blander than some of the other ones I've had today. It's very milky, but the flavor for me dissipates fairly quickly. Uh, it doesn't make it a bad experience. It reminds me a little bit of Mary Mead Farm, maybe the one in, uh, Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Has more flavor than that. For me, it has a similar taste. It's a really cool place. Uh, they do farm tours and everything like that. They got lots of different dairy products. People here are really nice. Highly recommend if you're ever in this part of Massachusetts, swing by Norwell. It's kind of a beautiful area as well. So really nice to visit. 
number eight. Okay, I'm at Tully Farms Dairy in Dunstable, Mass. It's a really cute setting, and they've even got really cute half pints of chocolate milk, as well as pints and quarts and glass and half gallons in glass. It's a really nice little dairy store in there. It's a really cool setting as well. They got picnic tables out. They even have a corn box. I'm not really sure what that is. How's the chocolate milk? That's the important thing. Oh, interesting. It's, it's quite girthy, actually. It's sweet and girthy. It reminds me of like Tanner Brothers from Ivyland, Pennsylvania is what kind of reminds me of. Yeah, it's got a medium cocoa flavor. Very creamy, very thick, but it's warranted by the creaminess. So if you like a, a denser, thicker, flavorful chocolate milk, this could be one for you. Number seven. Okay, I'm at McRae's Farm in South Hadley, Massachusetts. It's really nice out here. They got a hop and ice cream shop inside. They got chocolate milk. They got a golf course out here. I think they got animals and they got a water wheel and all kinds of neat stuff. So how's the chocolate milk? The most important thing, obviously. Oh wow, you know what? This is pretty good. It's actually quite decent. Not that I wasn't expecting it to be, but it's got a nice punch of flavor and the cream has that mild, <laughs> few bugs around here. The cream has that mild sort of grass fed taste. Lots of flavor and everything. That almighty. Yeah, it's got a real punchy flavor, almost like a car slight caramel type sweetness. Uh, which isn't super prominent, and then the, the, the grass-fed cream flavor, which kind of holds everything together, and you taste it a little bit on the back end as well. And uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. These bugs keep flying in my eye. All right, well, Sunday morning. Number seven. Barstow's Dairy Store is open for business, and uh, did pick up some chocolate milk. Looks gorgeous. How oh, brilliant, yeah. It actually reminds me a lot of the McCrae's that I had yesterday, which is a good thing. Got a similar sort of a feel to it. Everything's in delicate balance, very easily drinkable chocolate milk. Delicious to have first thing in the morning. Number six. Okay, I'm at Stillman Dairy Farm in Lunenburg, Massachusetts. It's all grass-fed Jersey cow. Really looking forward to this. Beautiful packaging. Oh yeah, and you can taste that grass-fed cream. It blends really nicely with the chocolate. The creaminess feels 100% true. And wow, this is a really enjoyable treat. Brilliant chocolate milk. They do home delivery and you can also buy it here. I'm not sure if they distribute to any of the local stores or not. Wow, that's really good. So either way, yeah, it's worth your time to come out here or to look them up. Stillman Dairy Farm. Huntington Country Store. For what else? Whoopie pie. That's the real deal right there. I'm telling myself I'm gonna eat half of this, and I know that's not true. I'll get halfway through, and then before I know it, it'll be gone. I'll be licking the saran wrap. <laughs> you need to know that. You can call me hypocritical. You know, from the guy who will criticize the chocolate milk for being too sweet, and yeah, I'm just here hammering a whoopie pie. Well, you gotta do that when you're in New England. I mean, New England, you get an Italian, you get whoopie pie, and uh, moxie. Well, the moxie was never my scene, but... Um, if I see it out here, uh, I probably have seen it, but maybe I'll put, no, I'm not going to have any moxie. F that. So in wrapping up Massachusetts, there's so much good chocolate milk there. These five are what I consider the best of the best. Okay, I'm at Paleo's Dairy in Salem, Massachusetts. Number five. Just picked up some of the chocolate milk. I didn't get any video of the shop in there. It's very small. It's like a distribution center. They just have a little bit of a cooler that they sell their milk at, both in plastic and glass. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's absolutely delicious stuff. It's got a sharp flavor to it, a sharp cocoa flavor that you get right away, uh, but it disperses quickly and naturally. Yeah, I can see why this is so popular in the area. It is on the thinner side, but still very creamy and it delivers the cocoa flavor really quickly and really well. Paleos, right away, fast flavor. You get it immediately. It disperses quickly. It's very thin, but very powerfully chocolatey. Number four. Shaw Farm Dairy in Drake. Now I've had Shaw Farm Dairy before in 
in New Hampshire. It's available in, at a store in Litchfield, New Hampshire, where my aunt lives, and they had picked some up at one point. It was really good. Uh, they've got it in both glass and plastic, and they even have like a lighter option. I forgot what it was called, Lighten Up or something like that, which is not something I'd seen before and definitely not something I've tried before, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Here it goes. I get like that grass-fed note, and there's a little bit more of an aftertaste that I remember here. It's got kind of more of a malty chocolate flavor than like, say, a sour one, but it is really flavorful and really good. It is on the thicker side and has a nice saltiness that helps accentuate the other flavors. This is really good stuff, Shaw Farm. Should be proud. It's a really nice shop inside there too. It's very spacious and open and very clean. So, got a good thing going on here and the locals seem to be well aware of it. Shaw Farm Dairy, one of the first ones I had and that explosive flavor. All flavors are cranked up to 10, yet it remains balanced and is just delicious. You know, every sip is as delicious as the last. Number three. High Lawn Dairy Farm in Lee, Massachusetts, and it it lives up to the hype. I had heard how gorgeous it is out here and how idyllic, and it certainly lives up to that. They've got the iconic clock tower, which used to be a water tower. It's very prominent, and it's uh, it's on the label, and it looks awesome when you're here, too. What a nice place this is, and it was great to meet with Roberto here and Jason as well to talk about the operation. Super nice folks. Uh, they're running a tight ship over here. It's clean, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and the chocolate milk is free flowing. Uh, it's delicious stuff. It's all Jersey. It's thinner than I expected, which is nice. It's got that nice thin-ish creaminess, a real true creaminess, and the cocoa flavor is uh, just gently deposited on your tongue, and it lasts for a long time, well into the aftertaste. This stuff is not to be missed here, High Lawn Farm. Okay, funny little anecdote. This is the, the whole chocolate milk, which is what they've been producing for a long time, but they also produce a low-fat chocolate milk, and it was actually at the request of the New England Patriots, if you can believe that. I think because low-fat chocolate milk has gotten the label as the recovery drink, uh, they wanted one specifically, and I'm sure they got a first-rate one from here. I haven't tried it yet. I actually wasn't aware of it, so I'm looking forward to trying that as well. Okay, high lawn, gorgeously creamy, beautiful buttery texture that uh, melts in your mouth. Number two. Okay, I'm at Mayvell Farm on East Hampton Road in West Hampton, Massachusetts. It's a self-service little store in there. I was able to pick up chocolate milk. It is non-homogenized, which is great. Wow, okay. It's got a really, I would say aggressive flavor, and that's in a good way. It's all chocolate and cream, some salt, but your tongue does pick up a lot of it all over your tongue. You get, uh, especially on the sides. Oh yeah, God, that's really good stuff. It's definitely more salty than than average, and it lends itself to like a kind of a malty cocoa flavor. I really enjoy it. Cream disperse is great. It's quite a treat, and I'm glad they had get these little half pints. Uh, sometimes less is more. Wow, what a good find this is. Great place to pick up some chocolate milk. Yeah, thin, buttery, malty, chocolatey. This is awesome stuff. I really love this. God damn. Mayval Farm. Oh my God. Yes, a, a velvety, true, non-homogenized chocolate milk that, uh, I mean, this will bring you to your knees if you're not careful. at Maple Line Farm in Hadley, Massachusetts, out in the Pioneer Valley, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> I just found that out, of course. I'm trying to sound smart. Doesn't usually work to my advantage. Got a lovely tour here from Jessica and Jennifer, my sisters here on the farm. They've been running this place for a while. It's awesome. Got to go see the cows getting fed this morning and got to see the calf barn and all this kind of cool stuff in the, the processing plant, which wasn't active today, but uh, it was really super clean and really nice to see. Wow, the, I mean, the chocolate milk is, a, is a, it's an explosion of flavor. I feel like it's turning my head into one of those lemonade fruit punch recycling gimmicks that you see at the food court. It's a full mouth flavor, cream, salt, sweetness, and cocoa, not necessarily in that order. I actually say the sweetness is, thankfully, it's some, somewhat in the background. It supports 
It doesn't usurp control, so that's a great design of a chocolate milk. You get the cream, the chocolate, the salt, and then the sweetness is just supports it in the back end. It's lovely. Woo! Uh, again, kudos to Maple Line Farm and everybody here. You guys are doing a great thing. And last and definitely not least, Maple Line Farm. Mm, just a blatant focus on cocoa. Like I said, it recycles that flavor throughout your whole face. And it's just cocoa, cocoa, cocoa cream. It's brilliant, it's indulgent, but not because of a high degree of sweetness. It's really, truly chocolatey and gorgeous. So, well, I'm bloated as f And, uh... one day in Massachusetts so far. So that wraps up Massachusetts, a highly underrated dairy state for sure. And again, it's hard to put these in order. It's hard to rank them in, in, in the top 10, but I do have uh, the luxury of trying these multiple times and side by side. So I feel like it's accurate, at least for my tastes. Uh, but I encourage anyone who has the, the time or the desire uh, to go around and pick all these up and decide for yourself. I think you'll find that the differences between them are quite striking and uh, very interesting as well. So obviously some didn't make the cut. Uh, I think Big Y, which is a supermarket out there, had low fat, the multitude of hood manifestations didn't make the cut. And a more prominent one is Crescent Ridge, which is a very popular ice cream shop. Okay, I'm at Crescent Ridge Dairy Bar in Sharon, Massachusetts. And I'm about to do a pretty unclassy maneuver here, swigging out of a 1.89 liter glass bottle. It's nicely thin, but it's 1%, and there's a strong cocoa flavor for sure. It's almost on the earthy side of the ledger, um, but not a bad taste and a pretty nice texture. It was nice visiting Crescent Ridge. The employees here are very nice and very lovely. Very good for 1%, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not transcendent. And there are a couple that I missed out on, unfortunately. One of which is Peaceful Meadows Ice Cream in Whitman and Plymouth uh, out east. I hadn't heard of it until I was already back from the trip. So that's a bummer. So I for sure will pick that one up in the future. Uh, also, Ragged Hill Dairy. And they explained they don't have any chocolate milk for sale. The, all this stuff that they have is in the truck, in the refrigerated truck, and it's already spoken for. So I found it successfully, but ultimately can't get any of the chocolate milk. She said it's the same chocolate milk that comes from Maple Farm Dairy in Menden, Massachusetts, which I had not heard of in my research, didn't unearth that one. And that's quite a ways back east where I was earlier today. I'm not gonna be able to go back there and get it, especially at this hour on a Saturday. And they're a similar delivery service to Ragged Hill. So I guess call it 0 for 2 and uh, gonna continue on to Amherst. A little bit crestfallen here, but hey, well, that's part of the deal. Okay, if anyone's aware of any others that I might have missed, definitely shoot me an email, let me know. I want to be complete about it. Thanks for hanging in there. This is where I would say like, share, and subscribe, uh, but I'm not in the business of telling anybody what to do. I trust you do the right thing. All right. The wind must be blowing right. There is a strong shit smell over here. Whew. But hey, that's what it smells like on a farm, let's be honest. Uh, you kind of wonder if it didn't, but I would say it makes things more appetizing necessarily probably doesn't but it's funny over here there's a big pile and I assume it's a manure pile yeah. <laughs> and all of the cows are hanging out on top of it it's almost like they're playing king of the hill or something it looks like fun